This is the instruction on how to uh, actually put together uh, the uh, Mud Skipper Easy Long Tail Mud Motor Kit. This will work for both the uh, the two-piece shaft uh, version one and the other one, just the long tail motor drive system. The motor that I'm going to be using for my installation is actually the uh, Predator 212 cc uh, motor I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'll also uh, try to uh, put down in the description like a, a time frame as far as like okay, uh, with uh, starting at this time, uh, this is what I'm going to be inst going over from this time to this time. This is what I'm going to be installing. So that way, uh, if you go uh, through and you're like going through your installation uh, and you say, well, I don't have any problems with that stuff. It's just this right here. And then you can just click on the the uh, the time, and it takes you straight to where you need to be. That's it. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Okay, so like I said before, I did get the Predator. Uh, six and a half horsepower 212 cc engine from Harbor Freight uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the actual manual out give you a little glimpse of that if this is the engine you have only regular gas do not put uh, E85 in this gas tank also a little view from the front this is actually what you're gonna be uh, looking at uh, every day you're on your boat and let's take a look at the the back side of it and uh, these are the tools that it comes with. All right, so here's the base plate. Uh, and what we're going to do is there's four holes on that base plate. And what we're, once we lay it down, I'm going to show you with the Predator engine uh, the actual holes we need to line up. So these are the bolts that you want to use. Uh, it's the longer bolts and the shorter bolts you're not going to be using. That's actually going to be used for when you put the PTO drive in. But the longer bolts, uh, the easiest way I, that I found to do it is actually put them through the holes at the bottom of the base plate uh, without the, uh, the bolts of the washers. And then once the bolts are in there, then you want to pick the engine up and just kind of... Uh, line the line those bolts up with the holes on the bottom of the engine and just lower it down onto those bolts and then just use your adjustable wrench and tighten those bolts down now on the other side it's a little easier uh, on the base plate to take those black bolts off first and then tighten them down all right so you want to take that key out of that uh from the engine Take that uh, zip tie off, and to get that out, you just need a flathead screwdriver and get your hammer, and you're going to be hitting that right at the end, uh, and just be hit very gently. Now, with the PTO drive shaft, uh, you want to loosen those bolts. And as you loosen them, uh, you look on the inside make sure those screws aren't showing on that PTO drive shaft. Go ahead and coat that with, with some uh, anti-seize. You can make sure that, and, and those screws can still be in there, just make sure they're not poking through. That hole there in the front is actually to view the keyway underneath and to slide that PTO uh, drive right into place. And it, you know, I use this uh, actual uh, adjustable wrench just to kind of, because it the threading wasn't going uh, as far as I wanted to. So I just tighten it down just a little bit, but I didn't, actually crank it all the way down just to make sure that I was in the keyway so then uh, you want to uh, push it as much as you can on by hand and then 
get the hammer and I basically just barely tapped it. Tap, 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 tap. It takes a 10 millimeter uh, socket. All right, and then you want to actually get some marine grease and then you want to uh, fill the PTO housing about two thirds of the way full. So once you got that on there, go ahead and put the housing on. I believe they are 5 16th uh, hex screws provided uh, the short ones. And I just added the washers onto them, those lock washers. I added some Loctite to the uh, to the bolts there, and I screwed them right on in. All right, you're going to use a 13 millimeter socket to tighten those bolts down. All right, with this grease cup, you don't have to add the grease now. I, I just did that. I don't know why I did that, but you know, I, once it's screwed on by hand, uh, then I got an adjustable wrench, tighten it down, and then put the lid on. But you could probably, uh, once you have it tightened down, add the grease and then put the lid on. All right, so here we go. We got these uh, wing nuts here. And these wing nuts really are only supposed to go in one way, okay? It's possible that you can put them in the wrong way. Uh, basically, when you put these in, there's a threaded side and there's a uh, the side that with a hole. And once you put it through, then you start threading it in. That's the way you want to put these wing nuts in. So you put them through and then you start uh, uh, tightening them down. All right, go ahead and put some anti-seize on that gear right there of the shaft. And then spread it out really good on there and then uh, go ahead and slide that shaft in there in the housing and make sure your gears are aligned whenever you insert it all the way and it should just uh, lock in place and then you should be able to uh, get those wing nuts and hand tighten them that shaft should not move at all whatsoever you shouldn't be able to turn it uh, when you pull it it shouldn't move out it should stay in place so I really crank down on these by hand and uh, once I do, uh, you can see I'm, I'm pulling on that on that shaft and moving the engine, and it's it's just not moving at all. And that's what you want. Now this is for the version one kit. Uh, if you have a version two kit, where uh, which if you have just a single long shaft, go ahead and skip to the next part. But this is for people that got the uh, two piece shaft. Uh, I'm just putting some anti seize on that gearing right there. And then once that's on there, I'm going to slide that second piece into the first piece. Make sure the gears line up again. And make sure it, uh, I can push that in there and then it locks into place. And then it has these two uh, bolts right there. I'm using a, uh, a large, um, just adjustable wrench. I have the uh, rear shaft propped up with a uh, bar stool there. And so I'm going to go around to the engine and pull the cord uh, on the engine and see if it's turning the shaft there for for the propeller but there you go there's a, another view for you to, to check out yep that brass bolt is spinning all right so next uh, here's the tool that came with the actual kit the mud skipper kit and uh, this is the tool that came with the engine and it's for the spark plug but uh, surprisingly to me, it fits that brass bolt too. So I'm just taking that brass bolt and that washer off. You see that's tapered now. The, the older version wasn't tapered and threaded. It had like uh, these two notches that you'd line up that uh, keyway slot with. Well, now you don't have keyway slot. Uh, you have a, a tapered uh, shaft there with threads on it that kind of like uh, grips the propeller and the propeller is tapered on the uh, inside also so you can only put it on one way 
there's no way you're going to be uh, putting that on the incorrect way. I'm going to go ahead and slide that on there. Those threads are going to grip that propeller. And then push that on as far as you can. And then uh, after that, you're going to put that lock washer behind that. And then I would uh, put some uh, anti-seize on those, uh, those threads there. And then put the, the brass bolt on. And then use the tool that you got to tighten that bolt down. That's there, and you can see the padding, the, the pads there. There's the nuts behind it, so after you get it onto the boat, you can tighten those down, and hopefully uh, nothing comes loose. And then uh, those holes right there is what you use to for the uh, your Phillips head screwdriver to go through and tighten those screws into those uh, wing nuts. And there's that hole for that lag bolt. All right, so I have a piece of rubber padding there. Uh, that padding didn't work out so well for me. I'm going to get another piece of rubber padding. Uh, try to get a transom pad. Once I got it tightened down, I'll use a adjustable wrench and I tighten those bolts in the back. And then. Uh, I'm just checking the fit. Now you want to loosen the bolt on there with a uh, adjustable wrench again uh, on your actual base plate there and you remove that nut and that washer. Place some grease in there. If you don't have a grease gun, you can just do what I'm doing here. Get some grease on your finger. And then I'm going to actually carry the, uh, the engine over. And once it went right down, it, it sat really well on the back of that, on the back of the boat. So now you're just going to get your washer and your uh, nut there and you're just going to tighten that right there on the back. Then those two uh, uh, painted bolts right there, I would take the tiller arm and uh, loosen those two bolts and then slide that tiller arm right uh, to whatever position you want it at and then tighten those bolts down keep to keep it in place. All right, so now I'm just showing how, uh, how well it's secured moving the engine around with this throttle basically you take the cable out of the sleeve of the and then you slide that cable through there's a hole in a little tiny hole in the front and once you slide the cable through right there then the head of that cable should hold it right in place and then you're gonna ha see that set screw you're gonna tighten down that set screw the cable the sleeve for the cable, you're going to actually thread that back on to the cable again. All right, that's it. So now we're good to go. Let's put it on the uh, tiller arm. And I did add some Loctite to the threads uh, or that screw uh, before I tighten it down. That spot where the throttle goes, there's a hole right there. You just slide the cable through there, and it's going to come out the back. This is where your cable is going to run and go across and to work that throttle as you're driving the boat. So uh, to get to this, you're going to need to take that air box off. So I'm getting that 10 millimeter uh, socket. Uh, there are two bolts in the front to take the air box off with. Here's the bolt that you need to loosen with a 10 millimeter socket and that's going to loosen the throttle so when you actually pull it it's going to spring back and that's what you want. Loosen that screw 
and slide your cable under that plate and then tighten it back up again. On the actual lever of the throttle, take your pliers, hold that little nut so it doesn't spin around, take your Phillips head screwdriver, loosen it up, there's a hole right on the side of that uh, uh, where there's a hole there and you just slide your cable through. Once you slide your cable through, all you do is use those pliers again to keep that uh, cable from spinning around and then tighten it back up again with your Phillips head screwdriver. Now you should be good to go. You just uh, work that throttle on the tiller arm and we're good to go now. All right, so there's a cable tie right there that you need to add. All right, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and good luck to y'all. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed that installation. I hope it helped you out. Uh, also, remember what I said. I'm going to put the times uh, down below in the description, so you can actually click on the time for each installation. You can just go right to whatever you need to go to if you have any issues. Also, um, I did the throttle cable. Uh, some people on, on their installations, they didn't show you how they did the throttle. Uh, but uh, if, you, if you have the, the uh, Predator engine, six and a half horsepower, I, I go, you know, I like you saw in the video, I showed you how to do the throttle cable. But the kill switch, Mud Skipper has their own video, shows you how to do the kill switch. So I'm going to let you go and uh, I'll put the link uh, in the description below. Uh, let you follow that link and uh, and uh, do that. If there's any issues, uh, let me know and maybe I'll uh, make my own uh, uh, kill switch uh, video. I haven't watched that video yet and I haven't installed the kill switch on my motor yet. But uh, like I said, the video is already out there uh, that they made. So hopefully that helps you out with that if you're uh, putting the kill switch on your motor. And uh, I mean, it went together uh, pretty easily. But now it's just... Uh, you know, oil up the motor, put some gas in it, and then uh, get it out in the water and see how well it does, okay? Uh, it's been fun, and until uh, next time.